This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. I'm John Saltzman with the Boston Globe. Today I covered the Chuck Turner federal corruption trial, and it was a very dramatic day. Uh, the star witness in the case is a man named Ron Wilburn. He's a uh, cooperating witness. And in his second day of testimony, he got into a shouting match with the federal prosecutor in the case. He accused the prosecutor and the government of blowing his cover in uh, the investigation and said that they'd ruined his career and um, um, really uh, bagged him. Um, the prosecutor, in turn, said that uh, uh, Mr. Wilburn had himself revealed his identity or had gone to the media months before the arrest of Diane Wilkerson and Chuck Turner uh, in a Globe article. Uh, it got very heated. They were yelling at one another. What made it even more surreal was at one point a juror spoke up and asked the judge whether uh, the witness, Ron Wilburn, was being coached. Another bizarre development, uh, Wilburn testified uh, under uh, questioning by both the federal prosecutor and by the defense lawyer that he was involved in cash payments to Boston police officers long before the Turner and in Wilkerson case came about. Very strange thing. And then the uh, Boston Police Department's spokeswoman uh, confirmed that uh, there is an active investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI and the Boston Police of Wilburn's allegations concerning payoffs. It's extraordinary to have the key government witness engage in a shouting ma match with the prosecutor. Um, uh, bear in mind that Wilburn was paid nearly $30,000 in an employment agreement to work in this uh, uh, undercover sting uh, that ultimately resulted in the arrests of Wilkerson and Turner. So for him to not only testify reluctantly, but to get into a, a fierce uh, shouting exchange with the prosecutor is, you know, almost unheard of.